Hi everybody, Ali Barian, your resident road safety expert, back again for another Q&A. We're here at our wonderful assessment, the Trial and Assessment Centre in Hornsby. Thank you very much for uh, joining in for our Q&A. And as I always say, please hit that subscribe button that looks a little bit like that down there below. Uh, we'd love to have your support to get us to a thousand subscribers and keep those questions coming in. So I'm sitting here on our, uh, or standing here, should I say, in our facility on a chilly winter's day. That's why I've got my jacket on. I'm here answering the questions. Winter is definitely set in and uh, we're excited to see how the seasons treat us this year. Now, uh, today's question is, I've got you up here at our rig with the restraints because today's question is all about uh, restraints. And it talks about crisscrossing the restraints for wheelchairs from the back. So the question is, can we crisscross the restraints? And if not, um, why not? Um, and how do we tension the restraints? So first thing I will talk to you about is, or try and explain to you what that is, is, is what is the crisscross? So I'll just get up here on the rig. And, then, um, and we'll show you what we're talking about. So what we've got is restraints where we would normally hook them onto the wheelchair body of an approved wheelchair to be able to transport it. And what the question is asking is, can we link them over like that and then over like that, like so. So you get like a cross. Now this particular um, setup like that is actually surprisingly very commonly practiced in Australia. And can you do it? It's a big fat N-O, no you can't do it. Uh, now I'll explain the reasons why in a minute, um, but basically uh, crossing a restraint over like that is not allowed, so we can't do it. Now why can't we do it? The, the reasons why, there's multiple reasons why. First of all, I'll show you the correct, uh, I'll show you how this is set up and what the issues are, and then I'll show you the correct way. First issue is that you see, often the restraints will touch each other like that. Now, when it's touching it like that, in the um, driving, when you're driving, they're going to be vibrating like that, and then over time they will wear away at each other. So what you will find is your restraints, um, which have often a 10-year lifespan or a 10-year recommended lifespan, will wear away within a few months, and you'll have to replace them after a few months. So that's definitely one big reason why not. Another reason is, in the event of an accident, everything likes to straighten up and straighten itself up. So if these two restraints are like that, in the event of an accident, they'll try and kind of rip themselves apart and straighten themselves up like that. And so what that could do is that could potentially try and damage or destroy that wheelchair under that occupant. And last but not least, which is actually probably the most important thing, is the instructions and the guidelines of the restraints, and this is of every single restraint from every single brand. We've got Unwin here, but all the other brands that are on the market, they all say the same thing. You must go in a straight line, straight to your wheelchair, and you must have the right amount of tension. So you must never ever crisscross. And if we follow the instructions, that's when we do the right thing, we're following the laws, and if we don't follow the instructions, that's when we potentially could have liability issues and, and legal cases on our hands. So the instructions always say go straight, so we've got to follow the instructions. So what are we talking about when we say go straight? I'll undo these and I'll show you what we're talking about. So we'll just undo them like that. And like so. Let them go back in. Then we'll just hook them like so. Up like that. And then that's basically nice and straight. Nothing is rubbing on each other. And then I tension them by just turning these little, um, little handles on the side to tension it. And we have a nice solid fit. And we've talked about tension and those, uh, what sort of tension to get as well in other videos. But that's effectively what we're looking at. A nice straight line, straight to our uh, wheelchair, and that is nice and legal, and that's the correct thing to do. In this case, we're not going to have any crisscrossing in rubbing, in terms of the rubbing. We're going to have a nice straight line. Everything's already straightened up in the event, uh, it should be having an event of an accident. And we're following the manufacturer's guidelines as well. So hopefully that helps with the question. In, in a nutshell, no, we cannot crisscross restraints and the reasons why are there below. So thank you very much for tuning in. As I always say, hit that subscribe button somewhere down there and please send in your questions. We love getting your questions. See you next time.